Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, and cats, and uh, welcome back to Combat Level Up. Today we're here again with the Austrian Empire, or should I say the Habsburg Empire, holy shit. We are actually monarchists now, and, uh, well, only 55%, but, um, there's a little bit of explaining to do. Basically, uh, I lost a lot of footage, so I rolled back as far as I could in my saves, um, and this is actually as far back as I can go. So, I got to where, like... Like, we actually got Germany to become Marcus as well, and we got, like, we get, we did, we went pretty far, but my recording software, like, kind of pooped a little bit, so I wasn't able to actually sh capture it. Oh, man, that, that really sucks, but, but yeah, we're actually a monarchist now, we're, we are a monarchy, and, uh, we're doing pretty good. We're actually pretty low manpower right now, um... We need to, I, I learned a lot though as I was playing, so I've, I kind of learned like how we're going to, in order to be successful. Basically, my original plan was that uh, we are going to invade Slovakia because it will give us a good, nice, big border around Hungary. Um, but it might not be the best idea because Hungary is actually really freaking strong, so we're going to have to make sure we're really strong before we invade them. Um, and they basically just, Hungary but basically just pushed up here and cut off everything in here and we we had zero manpower so we just lost all our divisions it was pretty bad but yeah we're gonna need to make sure we have good manpower we're gonna make sure we have are very strong before we can actually attack the hungarians i'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna ally germany once they become monarchy a monarchist um and we're gonna take over the czechs before we actually invade hungary because um we want uh we want Czechoslovakia, and that will give us a lot more space, probably a lot more manpower too. When we invade, for when we invade Hungary, it'll be good. It'll be good. We'll, we'll, we're gonna take over Hungary. We're gonna take over the Czechs. There's a yeah, Czechoslovakia. It's got like a lot of people. Looks like three, three million, four million, one million, two million. Yeah, there's a lot of people over there in Czechoslovakia. Here in Austria, we don't got too many people actually. Well, there's quite a bit of people here actually, uh, and where Vienna is and Graz is. Um, not too many people here, though. It's got to be said. But uh, I think we should also invade uh, Bosnia before we invade um, other places, too. So, but we can invade Bosnia um, and actually puppet it so we can use their armies and stuff. Or we could actually annex it. I'm thinking about annexing it just for the manpower. Um, because, you know, I think during World War One they had only had Bosnia puppeted. But uh, at the same time... Previously, before the Austrian Empire had um, Bosnia annexed as well, so we could just annex them. I think we'll probably just do that. I, I had them puppeted before, but I think I want to I want to try to be able to benefit from their manpower. I, I'm not sure if if we just puppet them, do we get their manpower or do we not? I'm not too sure. Bosnia doesn't have too much manpower, but it'll still add on to what we got. So, all right, I have found that it is really hard to attack over this river here into uh, Slovakia. So what we're gonna do. As we put a fallback line here, and we, um, are we already at war with these guys? Yes. Um, so we're at war with them. We're not going to be attacking. Basically, what we're going to do is we are going to have their troops attack our defenses as much as they can until they run out of manpower themselves, and, um, and their divisions die, because they will do it. They'll just keep attacking until their divisions die, and then we'll just invade in there, take Bratislava, or however you say that, and then, uh, they'll capitulate. So, here we go, boys. All right, we're gonna get. Uh, we're, we want to get down here until this continuous focuses. These are really nice. Um, oh look, we got some free military factories. What are we building here? Do we have outdated equipment? Are we building outdated equipment? Um, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Oh shit, no, we don't want to be building convoys. We want to be building frigate threes. Boom. How many? Uh, no, we don't have any more do shit, dockyards. It's all updated. That's all updated. Looks good. Um, I want to make sure that we're, we aren't, like, wasting all our manpower. Major Monarchist Rally, sweet. Um, let's, uh, not be building so many of these guys. Because we need, we need this manpower up here. Um, let's build, like, one division and then, like, one tank division. And these tank divisions are actually going to need some Generation 3 Modern Battle Tank equipment. So, not just this, uh, Modern Generation 3 Light mechan Mechanized. Jeez, it's hard, it's hard word to say. We're also going to need some of this, uh, where is it? We're also going to need some of this Generation 3 main battle tank equipment. So, however many of uh, these factories, oh, we only have, like, one. So, I guess 
Let's bring this down to three so we can put this up to three as well. There we go. Also, research. We're doing good in our research. Um, last time I played through this, but I unfortunately, of course, lost all the footage. Um, we got really far, and I found all this stuff down here, these fatigues and stuff. These are really important. They give our guys defense and uh, breakthrough. 2% um, plus 3%. It's all very strong. Composite metal foam body armor. Holy shit. This gives plus 2% to two defense and plus 2% breakthrough. All this stuff is really good and actually really important for what we need to do here in Slovakia and Hungary and Czechoslovakia too. Can we modify our government a bit? Um, who, do we want, who, who do we want to add? I think we're good on political advisors because we don't want anything else in there. Um, but we want like some military high command probably. Um, we want like army specialist division attrition minus 4%. That's pretty OP in my opinion. Modern fatigue, so sweet, yeah. Our military guys are going to be really powerful. What is this? Improved camouflage patterns, 2% to everything. Sweet. Now we can get future equipment. Um, we just hit 2020, so future equipment will increase our guys. Uh, oh shit, look at this. Look, all their divisions are gone. So now we're going to take all our guys and we're going to send them here to this attack. And we're going to let them go. Go free, boys. Attack into Brutz. Bratislava. Holy shit, that was fast. Um, what were the casualties like for that war? Uh, I guess we can't check anymore. Um, but... Oh shit, stop shooting each other, guys. It's over. We want to take all states. Slovakia, you are ours. End turn. Done. Slovakia was annexed. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And we gained a little bit of manpower from that too, which is, which is exactly what we wanted. Oh shit, we gained a ton of factories from attacking Slovakia as well. Um, this is good. This is really good. We want support equipment. I don't know why I haven't been building enough support equipment. No, no ship dockyards, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a landlocked country, of course. Please. Um, what else? We could also do other military high command. Uh, we can get a specialist here. Division recovery rate plus 4%. That's pretty good. Germany, how are you doing in, with your monarchy? Merkel, you're still in there? Well, you're going to be out pretty soon. It's got to be said, Merkel. You're, you're going to be gone. The German Empire is going to come back. All right, Bosnia. We are coming for you. We are going to start getting our caucus belly against you or whatever it's called. We got to freaking justify attacking you so that the UN doesn't get all up in our all up in our shit, you know? Even though I, I don't think the UN's a thing anymore. Shit, look at this Bosnia guy. Holy shit, look how serious he looks. All right. Hey, uh, Bosnia... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Bosnia is like, even though it's super small, it's made up of a crazy amount of little states, um, because of all the different ethnic ethnicities in there. So, um, it's gonna take a while to actually because there's so many states, it's gonna take 335 days to actually uh, justify attacking it. So, um, we're gonna have to wait a little bit here, but it shouldn't be too long because we have it on fast speed, of course. Look at this Bosnian army. It's they can hardly hold any of the border. It's gonna be really fast and really easy when we blitz Craig in there. Oh, we're building outdated equipment. Does that mean we have future weapons? Yes, it does. Future weapons. Exactly what we want right now. Oh shit! So I just found out. I've just figured out this uh, division designer thing, and I think we want to build uh, parachute troops, which is pretty sweet. Now this is like my first time using this, so tell me if I'm doing this wrong or something. But uh, so I want like paratroopers, right? So we can paratroop behind enemy lines and stuff and capture things. Um, I think we want to get like field hospital in there, possibly. We want a recon company would probably be good. And as well as, okay, that's it. So we're going to get a field hospital and a recon company. Um, and that looks like that's all we can do. It's going to cost too much, uh, too much of this. So there we go. We're going to save it, I guess. And we're going to call it. Little Austrian boys. There we go. Little Austrian boys. Save. Sweet. So we now can train little Austrian boys. Tell me if I did this wrong or if they're going to be like super weak or something. Okay, we're going to spawn them in Slovenia. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, what do these guys require? They require advanced modern equipment, which is fine. Support equipment. And um, motorized, which is good. It looks like we have that. Boom. 
We don't want to, don't want to create too many of these guys. Oh shit, here's another one of our uh, of our mountain men. We don't want to create too many of these guys because we are low on manpower, of course, and we don't want to have to we don't have to run out of that. And I think actually we'll probably pause this uh um production of these guys, these mountaineers, just because we don't want to run out of our manpower. Um, do we have our final um, monarchy thing? I can't remember. Yeah, we do. We have national heritage, which is good. Major conservatives. What do the conservatives want? Jeez, get out of here, conservatives. Um, also, we should probably be doing this army focus, too. It'll help us with our with our military, make them stronger. These Bosnians, they are not ready for this. They are not prepared. Um, I think we should probably put more into uh, support equipment, actually. Support lightweight, support weapons. Cool. Major monarchist rally again. Sweet. Now I think we want to upgrade our tanks because we, we are trying to build tanks. So where is this um, generation three? We want this uh, advanced generation three tank. As well as we need to be working on our land doctrine. We're going to go into Blitzkrieg because I think that's kind of what what would make sense. Uh, because, you know, we're just trying to blast into as many countries as possible. Take, take them over really fast, you know. Um, we're rebuilding the Austrian Empire, or the Austro-Hungarian Empire, except, of course, this can't have semi-autonomy, so we're not going to be doing that, but this is going to be really cool. Especially when we have the Germans on our side. Um, I hope that, though, like, if we get the Germans on our side and we um, attack, like, Czechoslovakia, they don't demand, like, maybe this land, because this is all supposed to be Austrian, so um, let's, the first thing we got to demand is, like, maybe this piece here. So it wouldn't make sense for them to take these. I don't know if the if they'll still try to take these. Oh shit, there's there's a state right here. Holy shit, these are all little states. Jeez, Czechoslovakia is made up of a bunch of weird states, isn't it? Especially and especially Bosnia too. Look, like all these are little states all over the place. This is a state right here, just this one. All right, national focus. Uh, let's get into combat preparedness one. Army experience plus ten. That's cool. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. We need to be we need to be exercising our dudes before before the attack. Outdated equipment. Is it here? Uh, no, it's these tanks, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We need to make sure though that we are ready. We need to stop exercising them so they gain back all their attrition before we attack. So it looks like we're still pretty far away. We're only 166 days till out of 100, uh, 333. So we still got a little while. Let's add another uh, military guy. Shit, future camouflage patterns. That's cool. Artillery specialist, fleet logistics, air combat training, um, ace generation chance. Oh, that's pretty cool. A concealment, enemy air support. Oh, shit. Enemy air, air support minus 5%. That's pretty nice. Entrenchment speed plus 4%. Um, let's get this concealment. Enemy air support minus 5%. That's a little bit OP, in my opinion. Okay, so these Austrian boys are going to be in a different... Uh, they're going to be in a, in a different battalion of course from our actual assault troops we don't want them to be in the same we're not going to use them in this war we're just going to keep them exercising so they gain a ton of experience um and then by the war where we actually want to launch them behind enemy lines into the czechoslovakia or or hungary or somewhere we will we will have good use of them they will be they will be very strong and exercised already combat preparedness too we're going to get our guys real strong real good czech republic i thought it was czechia Said Czechia a little while ago. Maybe they're maybe they had a different uh, a different maybe they had an election and they changed the name. So when we um but when you know when we take over the main states, there's gonna be a few wars that we're gonna need to fight that we're not gonna take over the entire countries, of course. So we're gonna take Bosnia, and then we're also after we take like Hungary and Czechoslovakia, um we're gonna need to these are the three or four countries we're actually need to attack to actually take states from. So we're gonna need to take attack Serbia. We're gonna need to take this state up here. Um I think. Taking all of this might be a bit much, but we could definitely do it. Oh shit, wow, we just finished researching like a bunch of stuff at the same time. Um, we need at least at least northern Serbia, and then we could probably replace this Serbia with like the kingdom of Serbia. We need all this bit here of Romania. So this like corner, we're going to make Romania look like a backwards L. Um, then we also need like at least this state of of uh, the Ukraine, or maybe possibly this one too. That'd be kind of cool, and, and this maybe. All of this. Let's just like, try to get like this little big corner up here or something like that. And then also we're going to need like maybe this little bit of Poland. I'm not too sure. Possibly. Um, but we're also going to need this guy right here. This piece of Italy. As well as... Is there anything else in Italy? No, I don't I don't think so. 
Oh yeah, this guy right here. We're gonna need this guy and this guy. So we're gonna take those from Italy and we're gonna replace Italy's um, country uh, government with a monarchy, of course. Okay, let's uh, keep doing this combat. Preparedness three, as well as, oh shit, we have need to research. Um, we're gonna go Blitzkrieg and we are going to keep building up our dudes. I think we actually pretty much researched everything that we can for right now until we're going to get to like the next gen and that's the next generation stuff's at 2025 and then the stuff at 2030 as well so we need to wait for that let's keep building up our infrastructure so our factories are even better and as well we can do some engineering uh, our land doctrine how's that going oh yeah we did that already our air doctrine let's let's do shit dog fighting experience or fighter sweeps um Interception, mission efficiency, or air superiority. I think we want air superiority is what we're looking for. As well as, let's see, we want to build better airships too, probably. Generation 5 multi-roll. Are we doing the multi-rolls, I think? Oh yeah, we've already done pretty good multi-rolls. Okay, we have justification to attack Bosnia. We can't wait on that. So, here we go. Last time, I accidentally waited to attack Bosnia, and I didn't realize that it expires. So, um... We're going to stop exercising our dudes. We're going to let them gain their attrition back. And then they're all going to... Oh, shit, wait, no. Before we actually attack them, we need to actually set our war goals. Or, I mean, our offensive line. We're just going to basically capture the whole country. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right, boys. You ready? Hey, Bosnia. Check this out. Boom. <laughs> we're, we're here to conquer you. And we can't call any allies, so no point in doing that. Um... All right, Bosnia. Mission is a go. Attack Bosnia. This is going to be over really fast because their lines are... They can't hold all the, the whole border. And our guys are just going to rush to the capital. Probably... Are any people even dying? 156. 1,000 Bosnians. Oh, shit, yeah. We're kicking their ass. Have we captured the capital? I think so. But they might they might have moved it there's a lot of cities in bosnia like a lot of big cities oh shit bosnia is 94 percent towards capitulation one more town we'll, we'll do it Three thousand dead bosnians only 900 dead austrians this is, this is going good come on boys capture stuff just like go down here and capture. okay there we go <laughs> uh bosnia we want to take all your states but i'm sorry man all f like five of your states in that little tiny country jeez that's like a lot Okay, end turn, uh, done. Bosnia is now part of Austria. Holy shit, look at that. We're doing great. We are doing great. Oh, and we have a tank too. So we're going to put this tank over here, and then uh, we're going to put it in this, this army group here. So take them all. And uh, let's see. I don't know. Who do we want to attack next? Actually, we could probably take like this bit of Serbia first. Um, so... I think we'll do that. Let's go. Let's go to Serbia and get a new front line here on Serbia. So we're, what we're gonna do with Serbia is we're going to only take like this top state up here, but we're gonna replace the government of Serbia with a with a monarchy. All right, Serbia. What's this one? We wanna take Volovonia? Blah, 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 blah. Can't say that word. Uh, it's this one. Okay, we're taking that. There we go. So this shouldn't be too long because we only wanna conquer one state. Uh, 180 days. All right, boys. Well, this has been an episode. Um, we just took over Bosnia. We uh, took over Slovakia. We're doing better. Um, I'm going to end the recording before it fucks up again. Sorry about um, yesterday. I was going to upload a video yesterday, but uh, I kept having problems, and I, I was just getting really mad. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a favorite and a subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all next time. Um shit waiting to get this guy in that there we go now it should be exercising um i'll see you all next time when we uh attack uh serbia and probably hungry one of these others all right peace